everybody, welcome to my channel and the question of the day. Now every now and then I get a question that comes in, it's anonymous and I don't fully understand, but I think I know what the person is saying and so I answer it anyways, hoping that I get it right. Uh, that was the question today. So the question that came in, the actual question was, what is the limit of getting punished? Death? What I think the student is getting at is, is how much can we punish someone? Does death stop our ability to punish? This absolutely depends on your worldview. If you hold to a secular worldview in which there is no God, there is no afterlife, then absolutely death is the end. The most we can punish someone is either leave them in prison until they die or kill them. That's the farthest that we can go. However, within Christianity, our lives do not stop at death. At death, we simply transition into another place. And in that world is where God will judge us and we will truly receive the reward or punishment that we deserve. And I think this goes a lot along with an argument for the existence of God that people don't often use. It's an argument from desire that was created by C.S. Lewis. And here's kind of how he explained this argument, is that we have natural desires inside of us that can be fulfilled by things within this world. So we have the desire for hunger that can be fulfilled through food. We have desire of thirst that can be fulfilled through drinking. However, that there are some desires that we have that nothing in this world can satisfy. And that led Lewis to conclude that maybe it is because we were built and we were made for a different world. I think one of those desires is the desire for true justice. It's interesting that if you Google search the longest prison sentences ever given, your numbers come up with the longest one was like 141,076 years, and others are like 42,000 years. Why would we sentence someone to 42,000 years in prison? They're never going to last that long. Well, I think that is our attempt at trying to show how much punishment they deserve, even though we know that we cannot punish them that much, based on how evil they are. We have this desire for true justice that we know will never get fulfilled. However, based on a Christian worldview, it will get fulfilled. God will come and he will judge. And so our understanding and our knowledge of that good people get punished sometimes and bad people go free, that's a common one with students, right? You punish someone or a kid, they go, but they did it too. Well, sorry, I didn't see it. We know that true justice doesn't happen. But inside of Christianity, true justice will happen. Those that did wrong, that kind of got away with it in this life, they won't get away with it in eternity. And so within Christianity, there is no limit of punishment. That at the point of judgment, those that rebelled against God will be sent to eternal punishment. And those that were forgiven by him, that trusted in him, will go off to eternal reward. Oh, 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 oh,